Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Super Ohm in EU4. Just notice Pomerania is doing very well for itself. I suppose it helps that Poland keeps being weakened by the Ottomans. Um, really, really interesting. Mostly we just have to sit and let our manpower go up a little bit, let some of the aggressive expansion burn away. Protestantism entrenched. Taking over in more and more Catholic countries, there are fewer people who observe Lent. Without the 40 days when any proper Catholic cannot eat meat and is forced to eat fish, demand for fish is plummeting. That's an interesting economic uh, side effect. Doesn't affect us. None of our provinces produce fish, or they shouldn't. Lorraine confronts us about rebels. That's an interesting... Well, that's Lorraine over there. They do have their Protestant zealots. Apparently, the Lorrainian government's decision to enforce the Catholic faith in their land has been a mistake in more ways than one. Their Protestant subjects have revolted against them, which more than a few of those affected blame on our support of the true faith. Yeah, you are Catholic, but you've got... This province here is currently Protestant. Your capital is still Catholic. I could actually support them explicitly. Um, now, an ambassador from Lorraine has openly confronted us about this issue and rather imperiously demanded that we renounce the rebels and their struggle. While we certainly would like to see the spread of Protestant faith, this is a diplomatic issue more than a religious one. What is our stance on these Foringi and rebels? Caius uh, regio, aeus religio. They should respect the will of their rulers. Um... So, this would make them like us more. Our tolerance of the truth face would go down, which would hurt our unrest. And then we get an event. New Elm renounces Protestant rebels. Or, we demand that you cease the oppression of those poor Protestant subjects. We'd gain prestige. Lorraine would hate us. We'd defend the rebels. Or, we will support the faithful against you openly and gladly. Spend 50 bucks. Hurt them a lot. Fun Protestant rebels. Um, Interesting. I want the money to build my um, my embassy. The more pr countries that convert over to Protestant, the better my position is. I mean, this might be enough. This one gives me prestige. You know what? I want prestige, and I want to save my money, so we're going to do that. Look at us! We're back at pre positive prestige, you guys! It can happen. Thank you for watching through my province and, like, probably attritioning my crap a little bit. That's kind of annoying. Um, we still need a little bit more gold. Look at that. Doesn't help that it's winter. Maybe I'll split my troops up. Like that, just to minimize that problem. Not only for me, but all, anyone who walks through my territory. Will be nice. Do, 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 do. Um, I'm looking for something. Build. Just waiting for the cash for the, the embassy. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. So I'm going to build it, I don't know, in Constance. Doesn't really matter where I build it, and I don't really necessarily intend to build um, anything else. There. Actually, we're going to put it here. In uh, Württemberg, it's more central. We're less likely to lose it to any weird behavior. So let's plop that baby down. Okay. Only cost me 10 points. We're a little bit light on buildings um, at this time. We really could build more, especially since we tend to get ahead of time on our tech. But we have we haven't gotten in a position where we had to spend that ahead of time penalty. So we're okay. And mostly money was a bit tight. Having that embassy is going to be really good. Of course, it gives us an extra relationship slot. Not that we're using them all. And also an extra diplomat. And I just realized I'm missing a diplomat. Um, religious map mode over here. Saxony. You know, you'll eventually start to like me quite a bit more. Let's, uh... Oh, let's Royal Marry you. Because you're actually relatively big. We are bordering. You might have been a target. But we're going to try to keep you friendly for now. Uh, we have Royal Ties and everything. Oh, okay. Cool. So that didn't even use a relationship slot. Or it did. I'm confused. Anyway. Uh, oh. Yes. We already have that, though. Maybe I did it in the wrong order. Maybe I'm getting confused about something. It's the problem when you're talking and you're trying to think at the same time. Usually you can only do one thing. I can only I can only think or talk. And in these videos, I talk. So you miss obvious stuff. Anyway. Uh, Hessa. Wait. Weren't you a three-province country? Since when have you had Westfallen? I'm very confused. Uh, are we working to improve relationship with you? No, not right now. How how soon we can annex you? We're still four years away, so we do have to boost this up all the way, and we won't want to start on that soon. I guess I don't have to keep working on Hungary. Hungary likes us a fair bit. So, let's go ahead and go back to Hesse, because annexing you will feel really good. Against it'll upset some people, but I'm totally willing to do it. More than willing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need more people to convert. I could, again, go around supporting more rebels. I think I'll let the bank um, refill itself for now. Especially over here. Oh yeah, no diplomat to send. 
Right. Gotta finish that embassy first. Then we can be more sneaky sneaky. Play, anytime you play in this area, you really need like five or six uh, diplomats, which Austria can frequently get some crazy amount like that. And I'm not playing a, a, a proper HRA game in that I can't become the emperor because I'm a republic. Mostly this is a how can we fight against coalitions and, and work all that out. And without the benefit of being able to become the emperor, how do we become one of the more powerful nations in Europe? Because um, it's quite tricky. Okay. Some pieces and things. All right. That's, that's fine. We're okay. Reformation branches out. Where's it starting? I don't think it tells us. Oh, Brandenburg is where the Herald is. Let's take a look over here. Um, which symbol is it? This one here? There we go. Center of Reformation over here. Which weakens Catholicism. Luckily, it's right. It's not right next to any of the Protestant bits, because I certainly want a lot of Protestant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm going to stay Protestant. Reform is actually very strong. Very strong. But I think I'm going to stay Protestant. Did I not get an extra diplomat? There it is. Just took a while to register. So if we did that... Local and the rest in the Barois. Which right now is not... Oh, they had a recent uprising. Uh, didn't they? If I do this... Will I see it? Oh, I gotta get positive unrest at this point. Foreign support for rebels. That's the wrong rebels there. Milan broke their alliance with us. What happened, Milan? Ooh, negative, that's why. Why negative? Because we haven't been sucking up to you. Ooh, okay. Um, Saxony, let's pull back out of you for a second. Let's improve relations with Milan. Now, I mean, we can't royal marry them. They're still Catholic. Uh, what is this? A year of national tax modifier? I guess we'll take that. Presumably that will do more for us. I hope. I mean, it might not be critical for me to keep that relationship up. We actually get to choose a few things about where our relationships will go at this point. Um, we do have that alliance there. Who else might like us? If we go and sort by opinion, who might be able to convince of something? Saxony, Alsace, Norway... Uh, that's not Norway, that's Denmark. Although Denmark might be useful. That might backfire on me, though, for a couple of different reasons. Norway's a little too far, I suspect. Denmark, we might be able to pull something off here. Just because it's possible a lot of German states will go after Denmark, which might ruin a few things for me. Interesting thing here. Oh, more aggressive expansion impact. Oh, let's take the Diplo power. Hit. That's going to be fine. We're well ahead of time. Um, all right, we're positive. Can we get our lines back? We can, as soon as we get a Diplomat again. We're supporting those Rebels. Let's stop cancel. Let's not support those Rebels right now. It's not that useful. Sure, we can give you access. Oh, we don't have positive opinion of them. We hate them. Unlawful territory, irritated over claims. Oh, 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 oh. All right, listen, Milan. Sorry, we'll never be friends again. This is the way it is. We're still sucking up at Telesas? No, we stopped. Were we capped? We did cap, basically. We are working Hesse, which is good. And yeah, they should start to like me once more of these negatives burn away. We do have some border friction, but other than that... I don't suppose you'd want an alliance. I mean, no, you're outraged. If you stop being outraged, we're going to be okay. I'm just, I guess we just have to wait for the AE to burn off. Saxony, we will... Oh, let's take some of your trade power. If you're willing to offer, I will definitely take it. Oh, did they actually fix this so that the meter is in the right location? Because it wasn't for a very long time. Now, they're going to be way too big for me to just eat as a, as a vassal, like, diplomatically. Okay. Let's take a look here. Yeah, we did take the hit in Republican tradition. I'm going to switch to someone else, especially since our current guy is 64. That's too old. I don't think we can get an idea here. We're going to go for an admin guy because we have admin ideas. How old is he? 43. There. He we can keep around. Much, much, much better. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Royal marriage offers. Yes. Yes. And yes, that's a few of ours that had burned away. Let's take a look if we need any more from the other side. Hungry. 
Austria. Hungary. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Um, still have that weird royal marriage with Burgundy, but I'm definitely not allying them. Bohemia, how much do you hate me? Unlimited hate. Rival, etc., etc., etc. Brandenburg. What about someone different? We got Hungary. What about Poland? You're not super strong, but we might be okay. And you know what? Let's improve a little with Pomerania. There might be something we can do over there. Let's spread a little love. We could also spread a little bit love to people who are closer to us. So that way, um, they're less likely to coalition us. And right now, we are just waiting for coalitions to burn off. Mostly. I mean, I can go ahead and jump on uh, Savoy. Or Milan, I suppose. I uh, will have to fabricate a claim. Uh, I don't want to lose prestige. There, let's gamble. Son of a bitch. Austria insulted me? Uh. Oh well. We don't need positive uh, stability at this time. I should have just taken the, the prestige hit, but I'm starting to get annoyed at be having low prestige. It's not that bad. I mean, uh, you're entering coalitions against me? Really? Really? That's interesting. Alright. Left. There we go. That's what we like to see. Let's grab um, Pragmatism. We don't have to rush to it. We are pretty far ahead on admin tech, though, and we're not currently looking to core anything. So I guess it's fine. We'll grab it. If we do go to war, we'll appreciate the cheaper merc costs. We have a fair amount of money. I really am hoping to grab Tyrol at some point. Right now, we're still wielding Austria as a big stick. Uh, they've only passed one level of reform, so it's not like we're feeling the pressure of um, being soaked in. Where is it that we can't... Yeah, no internal wars. We definitely don't want that. Although, at some point, it's going to be okay for us to just declare external wars, and at least our HRA members won't be able to coalition against us. That There is a point about that. I mean, they can still coalition. But, um... Oh, uh, unrest in one place is fine. We can we can absorb that. No worries. Rebel uprisings are technically still building. We could park some troops over there. But it's not the end of the world if they fire. And if they fire at peacetime, it's actually, like, we can handle that. Because what we can do is stomp them down, and then they'll have the minus 20 uprising or unrest from that point forward. Which is okay. Not going to put my army maintenance up yet, because they're not going to pop up under me. So we're okay. We can wait and build more improvements. I'm not going to rush into it at this point. Can build those farm estates, though. It's early enough that we actually get lots of good value out of this. It's most of my cash. I'm going to wait until I've got a little bit more money in the bank. Because if we do get declared on, I don't want to have to take out a bunch of loans. And I do want to have the option to get some mercs if it comes up. So we're going to do that. Look at Lorraine. Going to expand over here. Death of Burgundy. Well, it happens. This renounces Venice. Oh, they didn't have the Venice rivaled already. Okay. Utrecht. Recall that diplomat. We are still, what, two years away before we can annex them? Oh, no! Do it this year. We just need a little bit more love by the end of the month. Um, that's okay. We can do a few things. Now, I can't remember. I don't think we can guarantee... Uh, no, we can still guarantee them. Oh, no. No, no. They're our vassal. We want to annex them. So there's no guaranteeing. Um, doing this does nothing. All we can do is send a gift, and we'll be able to get enough out of a gift. So that's fine. I don't need to rush it. So we're going to be fine. I guess I could leave a guy there. Tell you what, let's leave a guy improving relations. Until it's time to absorb them. Here, we'll bring back the one from Poland. Poland, would you be willing to uh, Royal Mary? You would Royal Mary. You wouldn't ally. Because they're allied to Bavaria. Still. We're close. We'll get there currently neutral attitude we can probably get them to lovey ws after some time um over here so we're going to maintain that diplomat let me just speed this up we'll be prepared to send them a gift <clears throat> there we go do it this way 22 will be fine it was what december 31st so we'll do it we'll do it at the start of december that way our diplomat I mean, we'll come home really fast, but we still have to wait that period before we can send them another request. And then we'll start the annexation of Hesse. Four new provinces. Very good. We'll upset a few people. Provence declares war on Burgundy. Really? Provence on Burgundy? They're a million miles away from you. 
It's a little, it's a little aggro there, don't you think? <laughs> Hansa left the coalition. Lovely. Of course, we're still burning off aggressive expansion, but beyond that, we're also repairing a few of our relationships, and people are getting into other wars. And our manpower is going up. In fact, it's almost capped. <laughs> uh, we'll recall that diplomat, and have to see what we can do over here. Royal marriage. What's our relationship slots? Yeah, and we're going to clear one up relatively soon. They would even ally. I think we can't send it now. Oh, because we don't like them enough. But if we get married, our minus six, and then if they give us military access, we will like them enough to ally. Truces are ending. Ah, there we go. Revolts. We knew it was coming, and that's totally okay. Do do do. We'll move you in together. We'll deal with that soon. There'll be another one in Bomber Wallet soon as well. Uh, Pomerania. Oh, we already like them enough. Excellent. Let's go and offer you an alliance. Ah, oh, people leaving the coalition against us. Look how scary we've become with all our allies. <laughs> uh, I don't want to declare on Austria. They still don't want to do it. Now, the coalition will reform itself almost certainly once we, um, you know, bring in more land. Oh, 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 oh. No, stop, stop, stop. We want to do this. We need to make sure to send them a gift. Bam, bam. There we go. Let's wait for the timer to come up. We can also stop improving relations. There it is. Annex. Again, it'll upset our the other HRI people. We're going to spend seven Diplo points per month to annex them. Wow, that is going to be a fast annexation. Our diplomatic reputation is plus five right now. Woo! We do have the Diplo rep guy. It'd be nice if we get the... Oh, there's a relations over time guy. I will actually... Well, I guess I'll wait. I'll wait until we finish annexing, and then I'll switch to that guy so that we can burn off AE a little bit faster. We're going to be capped on manpower soon. Means it's basically time to pull the trigger. We'll wait until these guys get swallowed. We'll rearrange our army. It'd be nice if we kept this general, 332. Unfortunately, we do not inherit generals, which is very disappointing. We also don't inherit debt or anything, though. That's, that's nice. We don't get their money. We don't get their debt. All we get is their land and their standing army, and, you know, that's going to have to be good enough, I suppose. Uh, really? We get attrition here? No, oh, we do. It is mountainous. That is also mountainous, but has slightly higher supply limit. It's still not enough, though. There, we'll split in half. It's just because it was wintry, I think. Do do do. We've got some free diplomats. Um, we could keep sucking up to these guys a little bit more. Oh no, we're maxed out. What about here? Uh, we're not quite maxed out. So let's just keep working the relationship for now. That's going to be okay. We're good there. Austria, I definitely need to make sure to keep you all the way up. We're short 24 and we're decaying pretty fast so let's get that going Utrecht has some disorder new draperies Ugh. don't like losing stability I will lose the money lots of things I don't like wow that <laughs> seven per month that's amazing it's probably more than we're earning it is so our diplomatic power stockpile will go down but that's okay it's not like we need it critically right now in fact we might run into a situation where we're going to be forced to consider an ahead of time penalty mm -hmm. so yeah we'll finish importing uh, annexing these guys and actually we have a mission to fabricate a claim on pml i think i like that idea a lot um let's stop sucking up to poland Fabricate a claim there. Of course, we'll get some aggressive expansion if we get caught, which is, you know, usually what happens. Oh, they got an extra ally now. Still nothing too bad. Still, oh, they have Corfu and Axis, not much. They only have the Knights, which is really nice. And we have a claim over here. I forgot about that. Um, I do not want to lose Republican tradition. I will take the inflation and then buy it down. So that was basically lose Republican tradition or pay 75 admin points and right now the republican tradition with such a young leader that we've got i mean he's aging up a little bit now but we'll be able to keep him around for a while and get him up maybe even to 666 level before he keels over and dies defender of faith is nice we're not going to rush into it moving there yeah we're going to finish this we're going to get the claim over here but honestly we might just pull the trigger on venice depending on who would be willing to join in with us oh right it's i forgot about that attrition here that's really annoying i could increase the supply by building a better fort level which might be a really good idea um Recall that diplomat. 
You know, actually, we'll do that, because if we ever do get in a fight, a potential battle against uh, Austria, we're going to want to stick a good number of people in these mountains. I think that's going to be okay. Anyway. Duh, duh, duh. Mostly saving money. It's not so much the point expense at this point, it's the saving money that I'm concerned about. Um, if I were to declare war against Venice right now... Oh. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. In fact, since this doesn't pause my annexing status, I'm going to do that. I'm going to... Oh, my maintenance is already up to cap. Very nice. I don't see any reason not to do this. We're not going to co-belligerize the knights. They're like a million miles away. I really... Like, Brescia I have a claim on, so that's nice. But I would really like to grab Verona as well, because then I'd have access to the Gulf of Venice. Which is really, really, really good. Uh, coalition status right now? Oh, we have no coalition at all. Now, we'll get a little bit of expressive expansion, certainly. Um, maybe a little bit less, because they're not part of the HRE. But, you know, the coalition will probably reform. But not, not in a way that we can't deal with. I think we're going to do that, but I think it's going to have to wait until next episode. Thank you very much for watching another episode of our Super, super Ohm Let's Play of uh, EU4. And I'll see you guys next time.